Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol Cigarettes, which I will admit I am extremely excited to try for the first time because, well, these haven't been discontinued since about 2019 or midway through 2020, depending on what source you go to and everything like that kind of thing. And because of that reason, I never really expected to actually be able to find these and to be able to review them. But I was able to find them. I got really, really, really lucky. I just went into a random shop that I had never really spent any time in before, looked at the cigarette selection just to see if they had anything interesting, and they had two packs of these. I only got one pack, but I am just so happy I was actually able to find these. I was like, what? They have Nat Sherman Hint? I gotta pick it up, you know what I'm saying? I gotta pick it up. So as such, I certainly did. But that's not the only reason why I'm so excited to try these cigarettes right here. Another reason why I'm just simply so excited to try the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol cigarettes is just simply because I've heard a lot of good things online about these cigarettes right here. It seems to me like a lot of people really, really, really like these cigarettes. And when they were discontinued, a lot of people were very, very, very dis uh, disappointed. Uh, so as such, I'm excited to find out why they were so disappointed. And another reason why I'm so excited to try this pack of cigarettes right here, the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthols, is just simply because, from what I can tell at least, this is an unfiltered menthol cigarette. I've never actually purchased a menthol cigarette that already came unfiltered. I've never smoked a menthol cigarette that already came unfiltered. So this might just possibly be my first time ever smoking a real unfiltered menthol cigarette. And if it is my first time, I will certainly be very, very, very happy to do that. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying but I will admit that is the one part I'm not 100% on. I looked at some photos online and everything like that kind of thing, and they seemed to be unfiltered, but I couldn't really tell in all honesty. But I'm pretty sure these are indeed unfiltered menthol cigarettes. So that's just one more reason why I am just so excited to try them. But now that I've gone ahead and uh, gone over what I wanted to say at the beginning of the video and everything like that kind of thing, it is now time for me to go ahead and well tell you guys my expectations for the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol Cigarettes. Well, of course, as the name implies, Hint, I do definitely think there is going to be very much a Hint of Menthol with a more distinct tobacco taste. I do definitely think, as said, the tobacco taste is going to be more distinct than the menthol taste, and the tobacco taste I'm kind of expecting is going to be sort of a mellow, mildly sweet, sort of very nice, smooth tobacco taste, if I had to guess, you know what I'm saying? And... I definitely have to say the menthol taste that I'm expecting from this pack of cigarettes right here is probably going to be a probably mellow, smooth, mildly sweet hint of a menthol taste overlapping with the tobacco taste or over the tobacco taste, but it's not really kind of disrupting the tobacco taste per se. I am honestly expecting these to taste kind of just more like mild Newports, honestly. I am kind of just expecting these to taste like mild Newports because mild Newports, or not mild Newports, but Newports in general have both a tobacco taste and a menthol taste and I am honestly just expecting these to taste like mild Newports, and I am certainly expecting them to taste very, very, very good. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? Now, what are my expectations for everything else other than the body? Well, or for everything else other than the body, for everything else other than the taste. Body-wise, I definitely do expect these to have a pretty big body because, well, even though, they're on a, they're, even though they are a 100 size cigarette, they are indeed unfiltered, so as such, I see no reason why they wouldn't have a pretty big body, you know what I'm saying? But even though they are unfiltered, I do definitely think that these are probably going to be pretty smooth as well, just simply because it's a Nat Sherman. Nat Shermans, they're pretty high quality. Every unfiltered Nat Sherman I've tried before has been pretty smooth, I ain't gonna lie. So as such, I definitely do think that these might just be more smooth than all of the other unfiltered Nat Shermans I've ever tried, just simply because they have menthol in them as well, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. But those are pretty much my expectations for, well, this pack of cigarettes right here. They might be a little bit dry as well, as this is like a two or three year old pack of cigarettes, I will admit, depending on when it was made, but... Nonetheless, I do definitely still think that this is going to be a fantastic smoke, and I'm just so excited to try the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthols for the first time. But now that I've gone ahead and covered my expectations, it is now time for me to go ahead and, well, start going over the packaging of the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol cigarettes. After that, I'm going to go ahead and get the cellophane all off, go ahead and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up, go ahead and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol cigarettes all lit up, and go ahead and officially let you guys know what I actually think of this pack of cigarettes right here. But without further ado, as said, first off, I'm going to go ahead and cover the packaging, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the actual tech 
text on the packaging itself and everything like that kind of thing. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the background. The text on it though, has a very, very, very interesting, unique look that I really, really, really do like. But we can just see it just says Nat Sherman right here. That's just in a very, very nice, what looks to be sort of a beige uh, sort of text. I definitely have to say, you know what I'm saying? A beige text has got a slightly darker uh, outline going around it. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it does indeed have a slightly darker green background going all the way around it and everything like that kind of thing. And the actual way that the text was made to look beige, it's very interesting. So it's sort of a greenish beige, beige, but I definitely have to say the actual color of the text itself is beige, but then on the inside of the lines right here and everything like that kind of thing, there are actually tiny green lines um, cr being cross-stitched. I, I think that's the right way of putting it, cross-stitched all throughout the lettering right here and everything like that kind of thing, which gives it a very, very, very interesting look, a very unique look, and a look I've never seen on another pack of cigarettes before. That is really, really, really cool. I ain't gonna lie. But below the Nat Sherman right here, we could just see, of course, in very, very, very large text, it just says hint right there, you know what I'm saying? What looks like probably a very stylized, almost, ooh, I'm trying to think, almost a very stylized, almost like, hmm, very 1970s font, I want to say. Like a very stylized, like 1970s, but not like 1970s, like uh, that 70s show kind of font kind of thing, but sort of like very low-key graphic design 1970s sort of font or something like that kind of thing. I'm not exactly sure where I am feel like, I, I feel like I've seen this sort of like design of this packaging before, but I really cannot nail where I've seen it. I was like, maybe it's Art Deco. It's not Art Deco. It's just a very unique look, but I feel like I've seen it before, and I don't know why I feel that way. It is it is very interesting, that is for sure. But the text itself right here is just in sort of a stylized Times New Roman font. I definitely have to say, you know what I'm saying? We can, of course, just see it says hint right here, and the text asset is very stylized. It looks very, very, very good. I ain't gonna lie. The HI right here have a slightly darker, I definitely have to say, a slightly darker blue border going all the way around them, and so does the N and the T right here, but I want to say it's even slightly darker than the border going over these or around these two right here and everything like that kind of thing but there's no sort of drop shadow nothing like that you know what i'm saying it just says hint right there just very very nice simple blue text you know what i'm saying very very nice look i ain't gonna lie it's just a very pure very nice light blue text i really 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 do like how it looks i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm saying below the hint right here we could just see it just says luxury cigarettes right there you know what i'm saying luxury cigarettes doesn't need to have once again sort of a slightly darker border going all the way around it but it's not very super, it's not really super distinct or anything like that, less distinct than the hint border going around this and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But it just says luxury cigarettes right here and the same exact very nice light blue that we can see the hint uh, text has and everything like that kind of thing. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. And I really do like how it just stretches across and then the top of the T's and the E's and the R and the, and the S right here just hit this block right here and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? I really, really, really do like how that looks. But I'm gonna be covering the background of this packaging right here after I go ahead and finish off covering all the text and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. So under the luxury cigarettes right here, it just says with a hint of menthol. Makes sense. It's the Nat Sherman hint of menthol. So of course they got to put on there with a hint of menthol. Honestly, I really, really, really do like that. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? And that is in a slightly darker I definitely have to say sort of greenish beige font than the Nat Sherman logo right here. It's just a little bit darker, but it's not really too, too much darker. I definitely have to say just comparing the two, the color of the actual sort of background of the text itself seems to be a little bit more dull and there also seem to be more green lines going actually through the text itself and everything like that kind of thing there's no blue lines going through the blue text or anything like that but there are green lines going through both of these texts right here and everything like that kind of thing giving them a very 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 interesting look close up but it's a look i'm not sure if y'all can see on uh what, 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 on on the video and everything like that kind of thing i'm not sure if y'all can actually see that look but it is certainly a very 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 interesting look nonetheless you know what i'm saying i'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf this text down here has a slight green border as well, but really not much to mention. Overall, that's pretty much all there is to the actual text on the front of the packaging. I think it's a very, very, very interesting, pretty unique look. I definitely have to say it's definitely pretty unique from a distance. I definitely have to say hint is very, very, very easy to spot from a distance, especially because of the blue and everything like that kind of thing. It is very, very, very easy to spot from a distance. And I immediately recognize the, these on the shelf. I've never seen them on the shelf before, uh, before I actually bought them and everything like that kind of thing. And I was like, hint, 
oh my god, it's the Nat Sherman hint. These are immediately recognizable from a distance just simply because of the hint right there. You can't see the Nat Sherman, you can't see the luxury cigarettes, you can't see with the hint of menthol, but you see the hint in blue text and you immediately know it is the Nat Sherman hint. I ain't gonna lie, it really is a good, very, very, very nice, distinct look. But I will admit, the background of this pack of cigarettes right here is just as interesting as the actual text on it as well. And we can see it's sort of a geometric green pattern, but it's not all just one green. It's all these different shades of green. Like we can see there's some light green right here, some light-ish green right here, some more light green, some really, really, really dark green, sort of like some dull green. And then we could just get some more like dull, but slight, but kind of like dark green as well kind of thing. It's very interesting. And the text just goes all throughout all of these like geometric patterns, everything like that kind of thing. And it really is a very, very, very interesting, unique look that I don't feel like I've ever seen on really any other packaging ever. It kind of has like 1970s vibes. I'm not really exactly sure why I feel that way. I don't really feel like saying that this is like 1970s, like stylization and everything like that kind of thing is quite right. I feel like there's a better way to describe it, but it really does feel like very like low key 1970s sort of design or something like that kind of thing, maybe early 1980s. I'm not exactly sure. I literally did try before this video though to look up like, okay, here's 1970s design. And then I looked up like 1980s design and everything like that kind of thing. And of course, 1980s design, it was all vaporwave. I got nowhere. 1970s design, it was all that 70s show type font and everything like that kind of thing. I got nowhere. So I was like, okay, I don't know what sort of design this is. If y'all know what this sort of like design is reminiscent of and everything like that kind of thing, please let me know in the comments down below because I am very, very, very curious to find out. But we can just see there's one very, very, very dark sort sort of almost forest green square right here and everything like that kind of thing. And that has a very nice black border going all the way around it. And then we can see there's another square right here that actually goes through the forest green square right here. And that forest green square is actually yeah, that four screen square, we can actually see right here. I'm just trying to show y'all without the cellophane messing up and everything like that. We can actually see like this square right here actually goes through the four screen and we can actually see a little just slip, uh, a little a little slit right here and everything like that kind of thing where the color is actually different than both of these squares right here. It's a very, very, very cool, unique look. I definitely have to say probably the base color for this packaging though, is probably this green that's right here where my finger is and everything like that kind of thing. That seems to be the most common color and that seems to be the base color for the packaging and everything like that kind of thing. And then all of the squares are just piled on top of it, but still very, very, very interesting nonetheless. I am a huge fan. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying we can see another square right here and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? This one's not disrupting anything else or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? And then we could just see a very, very, very light square right here and a very, very light square right here. Oh no, wait, is that one disrupting something? It doesn't really look like it's disrupting these like squares right here this feels like it's being disrupted by something else but I'm not exactly sure in all honesty maybe it is disrupting because honestly it's very interesting so both of these squares right here have have black borders going around them so does this one right here is a black border going all the way around it these very light green ones have very light uh have very thin black borders going all the way around it and at the top of this one right here it has a black border as well but then around the edges it doesn't actually have a black border it's just sort of like lines just kind of on there, but there's no actual border or anything like that kind of thing, which gives it a very, very, very interesting look that I really, really, really do like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm having not a little bit of trouble describing the packaging and everything like that kind of thing, but there's so many like intricate sort of like little like overlaps and everything like that kind of thing that I don't really think I'm gonna be able to cover them all in today's video, but I think y'all probably know what I'm saying about the back of the packaging. There's a lot of geometric sort of dull green shapes overlapping, giving new interesting looks to the packaging and everything like that kind of thing. And overall, I am a huge fan of how well it could, the, the, the dull sort of green background with all the cubes and everything like that kind of thing, the sort of geometric, almost like flatland look and everything like that kind of thing, contrasts with the bright blue text and everything like that kind of thing. I'm a huge fan and I really do think that the front of this packaging looks fantastic from a distance. I think it looks fantastic up close. I definitely don't think it's Nat Sherman's best packaging ever by any means, but I still think it is fantastic packaging nonetheless and extremely unique packaging at that. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover with the front of the packaging. I think 
yeah, I think that's just about it. I covered the two squares overlapping and everything like that kind of thing. I covered the black borders. I covered this right here not having borders for some reason. It's overall gives it a very, very, very interesting look. And I really do like how the hint right here is segmented. I really do like how the luxury cigarette right here lines up so perfectly with the square right here and everything like that kind of thing. I really do like how it's all segmented, but then this, the, the hint of menthol kind of breaks the mold and everything like that kind of thing, where it just goes like a little bit in right here. And then it just has this right here and everything like that kind of thing. And it totally makes sense why the background of the packaging would be green because, well, it's a menthol, but it's still very, very, very interesting geometric pat. It's still a very, very, very interesting geometric pattern nonetheless. And overall, I am a huge fan of the front of this packaging. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? It's distinct from a distance. It's got a lot of cool details up close, and you can definitely tell that this is indeed a luxury cigarette. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the back of the packaging since I think I've pretty much covered everything I wanna cover with the front of the packaging, you know what I'm saying? So the back of the packaging has just the typical Nat Sherman look and everything like that kind of thing. It's not a look unique to this packaging or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? I was a little bit disappointed when I looked at the back. I was like, man, it would be really cool to have this same text on the back and everything like that kind of thing, except it's got the geometric pattern. That would have been really cool, but sadly, that's not what we got. We just got the typical Nat Sherman text and everything like that kind of thing. It is what it is. We can just see it's a very, very nice beige that just gets brighter and more white as we get towards the center. And we can see all of this text right here is just in sort of a very, very, very dark brown, not quite a black uh, text. I definitely have to say though. We can just see a tobacco leaf right in the middle right here with some lines going on either side and everything like that kind of thing. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. And we can see some black numbers on this side. I'm just going to go ahead and read off all of this text to you guys real quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. So, it just says, a family tradition in tobacco since 1930. Our grandfather was fond of saying, it might cost more to make the best, but a satisfied customer is worth it. And today there is still value in our kind of quality. It's why for over three generations, our family has crafted cigarettes from only fine tobaccos. Please enjoy the Sherman family. And then it just says under that in the same, I definitely have to say in the same, uh, text color and everything like that. It just says underage sober prohibited. Of course, then we can just see some numbers right here. Now I will admit reading over that text, is a kind of I, I will I will admit it is kind of um it's a little bit outdated now because there's there's still value in our kind of quality. Yeah, Altria uh, decided to just just axe all of the Nat Sherman luxury cigarettes. So obviously Altria did not think that there was value in that kind of quality. Sadly, I certainly do. I think I don't think they're wrong by any means, but obviously Altria did not think that the Nat Sherman line, except for the Nats line itself, was really worth keeping around, which really is a shame. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. But I will admit. It might cost more to make the best, but a satisfied customer is worth it. I can agree with that, you know what I'm saying? I can agree with that. But without further ado, now that I've pretty much covered everything there is with the back of the packaging, I think the only thing I need to cover with the back of the packaging are just these numbers right here. It just says 11000 uh, and then 4P slash G. I don't know what any of that means. Probably packaging or something like that kind of thing. I have our packaging number or something like that kind of thing. I really have no clue. And that is not on the cellophane. That is on the actual packaging itself. So that's just not a cellophane sort of tax marker or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? saying. But overall, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the back of the packaging. I really do find it amusing kind of thing. It's it's it really is a shame because. I really do like the back of the packaging kind of thing. It really makes you feel like your their market segmentation spiel. They're sort of, hey, look, you might be paying a little bit more for this pack of cigarettes. Don't get me wrong kind of thing, but but trust me, it's worth it kind of thing. It's that sort of spiel and everything like that kind of thing. And I really do like it when brands do that sort of stuff, but it just sucks that this sort of that this spiel is is now outdated. It's why for over three generations our family has crafted cigarettes from only fine tobaccos, but they're not doing that anymore. They're not doing that anymore. It really is a shame. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? It really is a shame. But that's pretty much all there is to the back of the packaging. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cover the top of the packaging, the bottom of the packaging, the side of the packaging, and the other side of the packaging. You know what I'm saying? So first off, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cover this side of the packaging right here. We can see though, one of my favorite things about this packaging is that all of the colors stretch around. We can see the light green right here and everything like that kind of thing. We could see sort of just the normal base green right here. And then we can see the square, which is right here, stretches all the way down and around. And I love seeing that. And the Surgeon General warning just goes right through it all. Most of the time, cigarette packs tend to just end the, the design around the Surgeon General warning and everything like that kind of thing. I assumed for some sort of regulation or something like that kind of thing where the design of the cigarette pack can't interrupt the Surgeon General warning or something like that kind of thing. But they didn't give a crap with these cigarettes. They didn't They didn't give a single flying, flipping frick. They did, they did not care, you know what I'm saying? They said, Surgeon General warning, cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide in just a white font with no border right on 
the packaging that just stretches around and everything like that kind of thing. They did not care. I love seeing that, you know what I'm saying? And that is honestly something that is really, really, really unique. I don't really think I've seen any cigarette packs actually do that before. I mean, like I've seen cigarette packs like end the design or have the design go around the Surgeon General warning, but I've never actually seen the design just go right through the cigarette, the, the, the Surgeon General warning and just the manufacturer just say, I don't care. I'm not putting that on my, I'm not, I'm not disrupting my, I'm not disrupting my cigarette pack design for your damn warning. Uh, F you, US government. I don't care. F you, F you. I just find it so hilarious. I don't know what the actual legislation is. Maybe it's because it's a very, very dark and maybe the FDA or, or the Surgeon General or something like that kind of thing decided for this pack of cigarettes that since it's such a dark background and everything like that kind of thing, and since the text is white, it's not disruptive or anything like that kind of thing. I don't know how the actual legislation works, but for all that I know, all the other cigarette companies are just playing it safe. And Nash Sherman didn't give a single flying frick. I have no clue, but either way, still very, very, very interesting nonetheless. On the other side, once again, we can see the colors are stretching around, of course, you know what I'm saying, which is a very, very cool look. We can just see this right here stretches around, the dark right here stretches around, and then this right up here stretches around. And we can just see it just says in white, uh, 20 class A cigarettes. There's no sort of borders or anything like that kind of thing. It just says 20 class A cigarettes. And then under that, it just says TPNC641. I don't know what TPNC641 means, but it means something, I'm sure. Taking a look at the top of the packaging now we can see the barcode right here of course these are indeed fsc compliant because well they were made after 2012 and they have to be fsc compliant the barcode itself is not made up of black lines and the fsc is not in black that's all in green which is a very 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 nice look once again a little bit disruptive to the packaging but not as disruptive as it could be nat sherman with this packaging really seems like they were really trying to make it where it was not where it was not disruptive and everything like that kind of thing to the actual design of the packaging and i'm a huge fan of that we can just see to the side of the barcode right here it just says tobacco filler ingredients it just says tobacco and water uh now because these from what i heard at least are unfiltered cigarettes I would assume that there would be menthol in there as well kind of thing but honestly i really have no clue because i figured when i first picked up this pack when i first picked up this pack of cigarettes i was like yeah no it makes sense why they wouldn't have menthol in there because the menthol is going to be in the filter and everything like that kind of thing makes sense but it's not on the ingredients list very interesting i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm saying very interesting that is for sure you know what i'm saying i'm saying and that's pretty much all there is to the packaging i want to say except for the bottom of the packaging right here which is actually how you open it like a book and everything like that kind of thing we could just see it just says nat sherman fifth avenue dot new york right there you know what i'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf and once again all the the design is just stretching around and everything like that you know what i'm saying i do love seeing it that's pretty much the packaging though those are all the details that is on the nat sherman hint of menthol packaging lots of very cool details And it's a very, very, very cool, very interesting look, in my personal opinion, that I really, really, really do like. I really do like the look of this packaging, that is for sure. It's a very unique look, a very, it's subtle, but it's not subtle at the same time. The blue is not subtle at all, but the background of it is subtle. It's a very, you can tell it's a luxury cigarette that isn't being too flamboyant or anything like that kind of thing. And I love, I, I love seeing it kind of thing. It's, it's not sort of, it's not a cigarette pack that it's kind of like, look at me look at me look at me but even though it's like not really look it's it's still recognizable from a distance even though it's not kind of like look at me look at me look at me kind of thing and it's still recognizable from a distance there's still so many cool details with this packaging but it's ah i figured out the word i wanted to say it's kind of understated it's kind of understated and i really 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 do like this packaging because of that because it's still distinct from a distance because of the hint and everything like that kind of thing but then everything else is honestly very understated and i really 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 do like seeing that and you don't see that a lot with most brands or most cigarettes in general and everything like that kind of thing so i love seeing it on this pack of cigarettes right here the nat sherman hint of menthol without further ado though i think i've pretty much covered everything i want to say about the packaging it's a pretty good look overall as i'm sure you guys can tell what i as i'm sure you guys can tell uh I do definitely think I do definitely think that this is a pretty good look overall that is for sure. So without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and actually get the cellophane all off. And now it is time for me to go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes right here all opened up. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the cellophane all in my bag so I don't be littering or nothing like that kind of thing. And we can see the overall quality of the pack itself is very, very, very nice quality. The overall texture on the front of the packaging, there's no sort of embossment or anything like that kind of thing. And the overall texture is just sort of a very, very, very sticky sort of I definitely have to say, like my fingers ain't even like sweaty or nothing like that kind of thing, but it is still very, very, very sticky, I'm gonna lie. But it's just sort of a very sticky sort of cardboard, I definitely have to say. 
uh, it, it, it's very, it's a, it's, it's a very luxury feeling. That is for sure. I will admit, you know, what I'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf, but no sort of embossment or anything like that kind of thing. Overall, a very, very, very nice look, and the texture just continues around the whole pack. But you know, I definitely have to say it's just sort of a very thick uh, printed cardboard texture with a lot of stickiness to it from the uh, ink and everything like that kind of thing. Overall, certainly no complaints on my behalf. I think this look, this pack looks even better without the cellophane on. Oh my goodness, the cellophane just ruined this design. This looks so good without the cellophane. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my goodness, this pack of cigarettes looks amazing. But without further ado, it is now time for me to actually go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up. And we can see it opens up like that. And from what I can tell, I was... Oh no, I was wrong. Okay, I was incorrect. I do apologize. I thought that these were unfiltered because when I was looking at photos of these online, it was brown. And I was like, oh, it's brown. Just like every other Nat Sherman unfiltered. No, these are filtered. Taking a look, these are filtered. They are not unfiltered. These are indeed filtered cigarettes, but they looked unfiltered. I do apologize. I do apologize. If you guys were looking forward to seeing an unfiltered menthol cigarette review, I do apologize. I literally thought that these were unfiltered. They're not unfiltered. My apologies, y'all. But let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the packaging, though. The inside of the packaging right here, we can just see very, very nice beige look and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? We can just see it just says the original since 1930 with the Nat Sherman logo right there. It just says Nat Sherman, Fifth Avenue, New York. Only fine tobacco is www.natsherman.com. You know what I'm saying? Just a typical Nat Sherman logo right here and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And then we can see the foil itself is not quite foil. It is just kind of like plastic that's clear and everything like that kind of thing it just says a family tradition since 1930 right there you know what i'm saying and then it just says fifth avenue nat sherman new york just like that and then it just repeats and everything like that you know what i'm saying pretty much the same sort of foil or plastic that we see on most nat sherman packaging and if i go ahead and get this i'm just going to go and put it down on my knee so i can try to make sure not to i'm going to try to get this out because there is one other thing i want to show y'all before i actually go ahead and get one of the cigarettes out because I, it's, it's under the cigarettes though. It's under the cigarettes. So I got to go ahead and see if I can get it out without actually getting the rest of the cigarettes out. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can push all the cigarettes back. I've got a good grip on it. All right, there we go. And just like every other Nat Sherman pack, it does indeed have a little card in it as well, which is really, really, really cool. You know what I'm saying? Very nice little touch. I really like seeing that. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that up and just go ahead and show you guys what's on the card and everything like that kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys the front of the card right here. It just says the original only fine tobacco, Nat Sherman's, and then it just says uh, www.natsherman.com, 1-800-221-1690. And then it just says feedback at natsherman.com. Sadly, I don't think that email is in use anymore. Otherwise, I would give them some feedback and I'd be like, Y'all cigarettes are fantastic, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you do, but they ain't doing what they do anymore. It really is a shame. And then, of course, we just get the Satan Surgeon General warning right here. Is that actually the same Surgeon General warning? It is indeed the same. It just says Surgeon General warning. Cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide on a nice little square right here and everything like that kind of thing. And then it just says J6962 right there. And then it just has a little car. Uh, and then it just has more on the back of this little card right here. And it just has a little bit of a design of a tobacco field right here, which is a really, really, really interesting, very nice look. And it just says the original. Fine tobacco cigarettes are our family tradition. Before placing these cigarettes into this pack, we took great care to ensure that they would meet our exacting quality standards. Now that you are halfway through this pack, we hope our efforts were successful in meeting your expectations. Thank you for your patronage, the Sherman family. And yeah, so this pack of cigarettes is literally placed halfway in the pack. I know that this card is placed halfway in the pack because every single pack of Nat Sherman's has a card just like this. And I've smoked a decent amount, uh, not maybe a decent amount of Nat Sherman's, but I've smoked a couple Nat Sherman's before, enough to know that there's a card in the middle of the pack that is for sure, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. So I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys real quick, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Very, very, very nice look. And I really do like the little touch where they're just like, hope you're enjoying the cigarettes, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Hope you're enjoying the cigarettes. Definitely, definitely buy some more in the future, you know what I'm saying. I really like seeing that, you know what I'm saying. I really, really, really do like seeing that. But I'm going to go and take a sip of water real quick. And now it is time for me to actually go ahead and get... I feel like it's going to rain, but I don't think it is. It didn't say it was supposed to rain today, so I hope it doesn't start raining on me. That would certainly suck. I ain't going to lie. But without further ado, it is now time for me to actually go ahead and get one of the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol cigarettes all out and go ahead and let you guys know what these cigarettes actually look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. So... Let's go ahead and do just that. So the cigarettes themselves, as said, these are filtered. As we can see right there, there's a filter right there. I fully assume that the all the menthol is in the filter itself. 
I really thought that these were going to be unfiltered. I was like, wow, that's really cool. They're going to be unfiltered menthol cigarettes. No, they're not unfiltered menthol cigarettes. They're filtered. I cannot believe you know, I cannot believe me, you know what I'm saying? And these just have brown paper. It's really all there is to it kind of thing. It's just brown paper. We can just see there's a little bit of like silver right here and everything like that kind of thing. It just says NS on sort of like what looks like a sheriff badge or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And then it just says Sherman's right there. And that's all there is to the look of the cigarette overall. Very, very, very simple look. The, I feel like it's raining. It wasn't supposed to rain today. I hope it's just like sprinkling for a moment and it'll go away and everything like that kind of thing. I do hope it doesn't start suddenly pouring because I am, I will admit, nowhere near a shelter. I would have to go sit in my car. I am nowhere near a shelter. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But either way, taking a look at the cigarette and everything like that kind of thing, we can see the filter portion right here uh, is all just the same brown paper and everything like that kind of thing. We can see the filter goes quite far. The filter goes all the way until about here, I wanna say. So it is a decently large filter. And I definitely have to say, these are also slim cigarettes. These are definitely not your typical full size, 100 size cigarettes. These are definitely slim cigarettes as well, but definitely not ultra slim. And just looking for lines of perforation. I am seeing right off the bat, no lines of perforation. Sweet, I don't really uh, like lines of perforation. I prefer cigarettes with no lines of perforation, so certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? But overall, yeah, this cigarette looks fantastic, but what does it smell like? It smells pretty good right off the bat. Yeah, I'm getting a very nice sort of, it is kind of weird. I'm getting sort of an almost newporty like smell or something like that kind of thing. Not quite Newport, but similar, I would definitely have to say. Kind of similar. Kind of, not, not super similar, but kind of similar, which is honestly kind of amusing, I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, I'm getting sort of a sweet-ish tobacco smell with a hint of menthol in there, as the name implies. And smelling the filter, definitely... Definitely the menthol smell is coming from the filter, not from the actual tobacco itself. So I definitely have to say, I'm pretty sure that all of the menthol is actually in the filter itself and everything like that kind of thing. But I think I've pretty much covered everything I wanna cover about the inside of the packaging, about how the cigarette looks like and everything like that kind of thing. That is for sure. The cigarette looks fantastic. It's just brown paper. It says NS right here, it says Sherman's right there. The overall, oh, I did forget to take, cover the blend of the tobacco. The blend of the tobacco seems to be a lighter blend of tobacco. I definitely have to say maybe sort of a medium to light blend. I definitely have to say it's not quite dark, but it's not quite light either. Overall, very, very, very interesting blend that is for sure. We can just see, of course, the filter is white right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But overall, that's pretty much all there is to the actual look of the cigarette itself. It's pretty high quality, I ain't gonna lie. The actual paper and everything like that kind of thing connects up very, very nicely to the rest of the brown paper that you're actually gonna be smoking and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? So certainly no complaints on my behalf. Overall, yeah, this is a very nice, high quality luxury cigarette that smells and looks very, very, very unique and very, very, very nice, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a dry puff real quick. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol cigarettes all lit up and go ahead and let you guys know how these discontinued cigarettes right here actually are. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get them lit up or let's go ahead and get this cigarette right here all lit up. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? Or I did say I wanted to do a dry puff real quick, didn't I? Right off the bat. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, from the dry puff I'm getting, I'm feeling like it's it's kind of drizzling or something like that kind of thing. Maybe it's just misty. I have no clue. But it is a little bit foggy today. But right off the bat kind of thing, the menthol taste I'm getting from these cigarettes is very, very, very unique. It's a very sweet sort of minty taste. I definitely have to say. It's not quite spearminty. It's not quite pepperminty. I can't really tell off the bat. But... It is a very, very, very nice, very sweet tobacco taste. And I do definitely think once I get this cigarette right here all lit up, it's probably going to get a little bit less sweet just simply because there's also gonna be a tobacco taste in there and everything like that kind of thing. It's gonna get a little bit more sour if I had to guess, but still, I am very much looking forward to how this cigarette is. But I've been a little bit jumbled up for the last minute, I will admit. <laughs> this rain is distracting me a little bit, but without further ado, it is now time. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover, even though I was a little bit jumbled up. Or, or maybe I wasn't a little bit jumbled up, but maybe I just feel a little bit jumbled up just because of the rain and everything like that kind of thing. But I think I covered everything I need to cover. So as such, it is now time for me to go ahead and, well, get my, this cigarette right here, the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol Cigarette, all it up, and go ahead and let you guys know how this cigarette actually is. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying.
Alrighty, so right off the bat, a little bit of chemically taste from my lighter, don't get me wrong. <sighs> definitely not burning super fast either. Right off the bat, I definitely have to say, hmm. Testing the body real quick, the body definitely is not the biggest, which is not what I was expecting because I thought that these were gonna be unfiltered cigarettes. Yeah, I, I was completely incorrect about that. Completely incorrect about that. I definitely did think that these were gonna be unfiltered cigarettes. They are not though, but the body is not terribly sized. Very cute puppy. How's it going? But the body is definitely not terribly sized. Yeah, body is not terribly sized, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And overall, these are quite smooth as well, I definitely have to say. Not super smooth per se. These are definitely a, these are definitely, I would definitely have to say, I'm gonna go and just test it real quick. I would definitely have to say these are slightly above average for a full flavored menthol cigarette in roughness, but they're still not terribly rough and they're definitely not the roughest cigarette I've ever smoked, but they are still a little bit more rough than not. But I will admit, I think it might just be the fact that I haven't really had many cigarettes today. Maybe lean it to be a little bit rough and everything like that kind of thing. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Overall though, these are still definitely a little bit more smooth than not, but I feel like because of the reduced airflow and the reduced body, because these do definitely have a slightly smaller airflow than uh, some Nat Sherman's that is for sure. Uh, I would definitely have to say that might be why they are a little bit rougher and also the lack of perforation. Uh, one thing that I, I realized about this a slim cigarette is that of course it's going to be a smaller body and everything like that kind of thing. There's just simply put less surface area to burn, which is why the Nat Sherman black and golds have perforation. This on the other hand does not have perforation, so it makes sense why it would be a little bit rougher, even though with standard cigarettes, you can actually have a rough, you can actually have a smoother cigarette with no perforation and a rougher cigarette with perforation is very interesting, but maybe there's a difference with slim cigarettes. And I'm sure it could also, the, the age of these cigarettes could certainly be playing a part as well because these are like all, like two, two and a half, almost three years old, probably at this point now kind of thing. So these are definitely a little bit dry. I don't own a humidifier, so I did not stick them in a humidifier beforehand. So that could also be playing another, that could also be another factor in of uh, the roughness of these cigarettes that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? But the overall taste of these cigarettes, which I haven't mentioned yet, is very nice. It's a very nice taste. I definitely have to say, and I feel like, no, I'm, I'm, I was wrong. I was, I was like, I feel like there is a little bit of the, the, I was like, I feel like the paper right here has a little bit of sort of a very sweet menthol taste on there because I licked my lips and I was like, wow, there's a very sweet menthol taste on my lips. I think it was just either placebo or it was just the actual taste I inhaled getting on my lips and everything like that kind of thing. But overall, the taste I definitely have to say is very much sort of a, it's not quite like a Newport, that is for sure. I was expecting these to be similar yet dissimilar to Newports, that is for sure. Uh, and I definitely have to say, it's not quite like a Newport. These are definitely not more menthol -y than a Newport, but it's just different kind of thing. It's different, which, which makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I definitely have to say there is, the, the menthol is very overwhelming. I definitely have to say it's not quite a hint of menthol. It is more just overwhelming menthol and everything like that kind of thing. But there is still a very nice sort of low key tobacco taste in there as well. Yeah, that is really nice. I ain't gonna lie. The menthol taste is definitely more overwhelming than not. Not as overwhelming as a lot of menthol cigarettes though. It is definitely more low key than a lot of menthol cigarettes. And I definitely have to say the taste overall is just sort of a... Yeah, it's just sort of a very nice sort of mildly sweet spearmint taste I definitely have to say with a little bit of roughness in there kind of thing, giving you, with a little bit of roughness from, of course, the smoke and everything like that kind of thing, giving you, I definitely have to say, sort of overall a combined sort of very nice sweet spearmint taste with a little bit of sourness in there from the tobacco, but the tobacco is not just sour, it's also sweet as well kind of thing, but very mildly sweet, I definitely have to say. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. This is just a very nice, mildly sweet, somewhat somewhat not really heavy menthol, definitely not the heaviest menthol in the world, but it is a more heavy menthol than not. The menthol is indeed very much, um, 
very much overwhelming the tobacco flavor, but still not bad at all. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. <sighs> Would I buy these again? Eh, I don't know if I'd buy these again in all honesty. They are good. These are very good cigarettes, I ain't gonna lie. And they're gonna be getting a very good rating, not only because of the fantastic packaging, but also just simply because this is a great smoke. But I'm not sure if they're really to my preference for menthol cigarettes. These are, of course, added to free, as all Nat Shermans are. But the menthol taste is not really the most dynamic in the world, I definitely have to say. It is mildly dynamic, but it's not like super dynamic. Would I buy these again? Yes, I think I would buy these again. But these would definitely have to be a special occasion cigarette, that is for sure, which makes sense. They're, they're not Sherman's after all, you know what I'm saying? Of course, these are going to be a special occasion cigarette. These could not be a daily cigarette. They're a little bit pricey, I ain't going to lie, but they are very, very, very good overall. But yeah, now that we're about, I want to say, a little bit over halfway into the cigarette, I'm going to go and test the body again. And this cigarette is, of course, burning very, very, very slowly to be expected from a Nat Sherman. Nat Shermans typically burn pretty slowly, so certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Yeah, body has gotten a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit bigger, but not really significantly bigger or anything like that kind of thing. Certainly no complaints on my behalf to be expected cigarettes without perforation tend not to really get a super big body uh throughout this the body tends not to get bigger throughout the cigarette if the cigarette has no perforation to say it correctly and everything like that kind of thing so certainly no complaints on my behalf but overall yeah this is a pretty well-rounded pretty decent cigarette overall and certainly is something that i am very much enjoying smoking that is for sure and i said i'd buy it again it would definitely have to be a special occasion cigarette would i much rather buy this over a different nat sherman I would much rather buy this over the Havana Ovals or over the Cigarettes Ellos or over um, the Nat Sherman Classic Blues, but I do definitely think I... My, I think my my favorite Nat Sherman that I've ever tried, the actual Nat Sherman, not the Nats line, is still going to be the Nat Sherman Black and Golds, for sure. But these cigarettes overall have a very unique look, very nice look, and they smoke very well, and overall they are fantastic, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Yeah, certainly no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. As we're getting towards the end, they are getting, uh, the cigarette is getting a little bit more rough, but certainly no complaints on my behalf. I definitely have to say comparable cigarettes. This is not really super comparable to Newport. I definitely have to say this is more comparable to the American Spirit Green, American Spirit Dark Green, Dunhill Green, or the Nats Green. I definitely have to say. Uh, these are most comparable to those just simply because the menthol taste I haven't mentioned this a lot in this review I did say it was mildly dynamic, but it is actually my it is it is actually mildly dynamic It's not like as dynamic as something like let's say the American spirit dark green But I definitely have to say this is definitely comparable to the American spirit green which I've also been smoking a lot of lately So I think that might just be I think that might just be a placebo or something like that kind of thing I did smoke one uh, like I want to say about an hour before this video. So maybe it's just that but but overall, I definitely have to say this is definitely comparable to the American Spirit Green, to the American Spirit Dark Green, to the uh, Dunhill Green, and to the Nats Green, Just which makes sense. This is an added to free menthol cigarette with uh, the menthol just being in the filter and everything like that kind of thing. It is a little bit dynamic. As the tobacco taste changes, of course, the uh, menthol taste is going to get a little bit more sweet or a little bit more sour with it and everything like that kind of thing. So it does have a little bit of a, a dynamicness to it, which I really, really do like. And that is overall very much to my preference, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna go and grab myself a little bit of a screenshot real quick, which I almost forgot to do. <sighs> Certainly no complaints on my behalf though. This cigarette is, as said, burning very, very, very slowly, but certainly no complaints on my behalf about that, that is for sure. Overall though, this cigarette is getting me pretty buzzed as well, I ain't gonna lie. It is a, it is a pretty good cigarette, I ain't gonna lie. I smoked, I wanna say, one and probably an eighth of a cigarette before this because I just smoked a butt of a cigarette that I didn't finish off the other day as well. And uh, yeah, I will admit, uh, after smoking those two cigarettes and then smoking this, this is definitely getting me very, very, very buzzed. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. Even though I've been smoking it pretty slowly, it is still getting me very, very, very nicely buzzed, that is for sure. But we are almost at where the filter starts. I want to say the filter starts about where the top of my thumb is right there, just judging by how 
uh, sort of bouncy it is and everything like that kind of thing. So without further ado, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and take the last couple hits of the cigarette. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol Discontinued Cigarettes. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right there. Yes sir, yes sir, and I'm saying I'm saying. The filter definitely is heating up a bit now that I've been chaining a couple hits and everything like that kind of thing. And the filter definitely did get a little bit mushy, well, a little bit mushy, quite mushy towards the end. And it's definitely more mushy in the center. And one thing I have noticed with, and I'm just going to go and stub it out real quick. One thing I've noticed with Nat Sherman cigarettes before is that they actually have sand in the filter. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and rip open this filter real quick if I can. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, yeah, we can actually see there is indeed like sand or some sort of like grain in the filter like that kind of thing, that is in the middle of the filter. So there's filter, and then there's filter, and then there's just grain in the middle, middle and everything like that kind of thing, giving it a very interesting look. I don't know exactly what that's for. It's definitely not like, um, it's definitely not, what what's it called? It's definitely not, I'm trying to think of the right word. It's definitely not a carbon filter, that is for sure. I've tried a carbon filter before, and that's definitely not a carbon filter, but it's just a very interesting filter, that is for sure, and that's something I definitely wanted to mention, and that's something I have never mentioned with any of my Nat Sherman reviews before, but certainly no complaints on my behalf about the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthols. I will admit, I am pretty buzzed right now. I'm going to go and take a little bit of a sip of water real quick, and then after that, I'm going to go and give you guys my final thoughts on, well, the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthols. Yes, sir, yes, sir, and I'm saying, I'm saying. But without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on this cigarette right here. Overall, the packaging is fantastic. I love how the packaging looks. It's a very nice, unique graphic design, sort of like almost 19, like dull 1970s look. I'm not exactly sure what look they were going for and everything like that kind of thing, but I really, really, really do like how this packaging looks. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? It's distinct from a distance just simply because of the blue hint text that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? And it's got a lot of very, very, very cool details up close. I really, really, really do like how it looks overall, and I like how the design stretches all around the packaging, except for on the back. I do definitely think it would be so cool if the design stretched all the way to the back, and then they still had this sort of text right here, but in white, I think that would be really cool, but sadly, that's not what they went for. They just went for the typical Nat Sherman uh, back, of the back of the packaging look and everything like that kind of thing, which I certainly cannot hate on that is for sure. Opening up the packaging, it looks fantastic right here. You get a nice little calling card on the on in the middle of the packaging, which is really, really, really nice. And the overall look of the cigarettes themselves, I'm going to go and just get one of the cigarettes out, is just, oh, I'm going to go and just get one of the cigarettes out as said, if I can actually get one of the cigarettes out. There we go. Got one of the cigarettes out, you know what I'm saying? The overall look of the cigarettes themselves look fantastic, you know what I'm saying? It's just very nice brown paper, you know what I'm saying? A very unique look for a cigarette, that is for sure. We can just see it just says NS right here on a little bit of a badge, and then it just says Sherman's right there in very, very nice sort of silver text, I definitely have to say. And overall, this looks fantastic, I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? This cigarette looks fantastic. It's very, very, very high quality. The blend of the tobacco is really nice, and it is filtered. It's not unfiltered as I was thinking it would be at the beginning of this video, but certainly no complaints on my behalf either way. And the overall smoking experience of the Nash Sherman Hint of Menthols was fantastic. Fantastic, I ain't gonna lie. The overall taste of the cigarette was definitely very much sort of a, <clears throat> and I will admit they did murk my throat a little bit, that is for sure. They're definitely a little bit rough. They were definitely a little bit rough. The body was not really the biggest in the world, but they were certainly a little bit rough, probably just because they're a little bit dry, because they are a couple years old after all. But the overall taste of the cigarettes, it was a very nice sort of not heavy menthol, but it was sort of a lighter menthol. It wasn't really a hint of menthol per se kind of thing. When I think hint of menthol, I just think like distinct tobacco taste with a tiny bit of menthol in there kind of thing. That's kind of what I uh, what, that's kind of what I think of. This certainly was not like a, a hint of menthol. It was more like an American spirit green. That is for sure. Um, but I definitely have to say the taste overall was just a very nice sort of uh, tobacco y uh, a very nice well. I think starting it off with tobacco is definitely not the right way of putting it, but it's a very nice sort of very dynamic, not very dynamic, but mildly dynamic, uh, sweet and sour, uh, menthol taste, definitely spearmint in my personal opinion. And I definitely also have to say that the tobacco taste did come through a little bit and the sweet and sour of the tobacco taste or of the menthol taste itself was definitely very much influenced by the uh, tobacco taste just simply because all of, the, all of the menthol is in the filter itself, so of course it's not going to be consistent taste all the way through because of course it's a tobacco cigarette. It's going to have some bits that are sweet and it's gonna have some bits that are sour, especially since we can see there are some light and some dark bits on the inside of the cigarette. That definitely does make sense, you know what I'm saying? But overall, 
this cigarette was fantastic. Uh, the taste was fantastic. Would I buy them again? Yes, 100%. These are definitely going to have to be a special occasion cigarette, though, if I can find another pack again. Uh, but I definitely have to say, would I smoke them on a routine basis? Definitely not, but I'd buy them again, as said. But definitely a special occasion cigarette, not only because of the cost, just simple, but also just simply because there's something that smokes for a really long time and everything like that kind of thing. Not exactly to my preference, but overall what I'm trying to say is that they are a, still a very, very, very nice cigarette, that is for sure. And in my personal opinion, at least they are most comparable to the uh, American Spirit Greens, American Spirit Dark Greens, Dunhill Greens, the Nats Greens, and I wanna say, yeah, they're most comparable to all of those. I definitely have to say, you know, I'm saying I'm saying. But without further ado, it is now time for me to go and end off my review of Without further ado, it is now time for me to go and end off my review. Man, that all rhymes. I like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying it is now time for me to end off my review of the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol Discontinued Cigarettes. Without further ado, though, I'm going to go ahead and just roll the outro. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying thank you very much for watching this video where I reviewed the Nat Sherman Hint of Menthol Cigarettes. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. And if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my second channel all in the description down below go check it all out but yeah thank you very much for watching y'all it's the next one stay safe and peace and have a great one and i feel like there's something that i forgot to mention i think i described everything properly and everything like that kind of thing overall i mean like it's a good cigarette kind of thing the menthol taste just a little bit sweet a little bit sour kind of thing a little bit dynamic and everything like that kind of thing i think i described everything uh in a correct way i definitely have to say so I don't think I'm missing anything. I just feel like I am, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. But nonetheless, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Until the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying.